Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today it's time for another little wish list video. I think that the last one I did I named it 10 things I would have bought if I wasn't on a low buy. Longest title ever. And I have now 10 other things that I that are pretty new releases, almost all of them. Okay, some of them. But these are things that I think I would have bought if I wasn't on a low buy. So you seem to like the other video, so I just going to talk about these. And I am going to put a picture here. So I will just scooch a little. So should we start with maybe base products? We can start with one. I have two things that I want from Milk. We can start with the Hydro Grip Primer. Milk came to Sweden in, was it in the end of September? And everybody's talking so good about this primer. So I really want to try it, but, but I'm not going to buy any new primers before all the primers I have is empty and I feel that I want to feel it in real life so the next time I'm at Sephora I'm going to feel it I think maybe that's a stupid idea but the Hydro Grip Primer from Milk I know if I wasn't on the low buy I would have bought it right away and the next thing from Milk is the Flex Concealer okay so my mother called but I think I only talked about the Hydro Grip Primer so I will go back into I can never find my way on Instagram. Okay, so next thing that is also from Milk Makeup is their Flex Concealer. And I asked you for tips on a new concealer because I have this concealer from H&M. I don't like it. And Millie from Bed to the Brow recommended Milk Makeup. Oh yeah, is I'm going to scooch. Uh, recommended Milk Makeup Flex Concealer. And I read some reviews on it and it feels like everything I want in a concealer because I want a thin concealer and very liquidy concealer. So I actually really, really, really want to buy it. But the same there, I think I want to feel it in real life. Uh, so Jessica, we maybe need to take that Sephora trip we talked about when I'm coming to visit you next time so I can feel it. So that thing I also want to buy. Next up we have the Warrior Free by Juvia's Place and it feels like this is for me <laughs> and I think others as well were a little bit surprised that this was so colorful because the other Warrior, pa Warrior palette isn't. I felt that this maybe was going to be Sulu 2 or something but I really really want this palette and especially after I have seen look with it, looks with it. And videos on it I really really want it but I am waiting for it to come to Beauty Bay it can take forever before it comes to Beauty Bay but I really want Warrior Free because I love the packaging and I love the colors and yeah I really want that one and I'm going to buy it sometime next okay I have so many foundations I want to talk about okay I have three foundations I want to talk about and one is the new stick foundation from Juvia's Place I really want a stick foundation. I've tried one from Makeup Revolution. It worked like half of the stick, then it like started to oxidize and things. And then you just place a fee. I think though this is high coverage and I don't want a high coverage, but I still want it for some reason. But two other foundations that I really want to try is Anastasia's liquid foundation and also Urban Decay's new skin foundation. I don't remember the name of it but Paulina has done videos on it and I others has done videos on it and really liked those two foundations. Even though I love my foundation I have I am I want to try new foundations and I am not like a typical foundation person because I find something I like but these two I'm really intrigued by and they sound like foundations that I would like so yeah I don't know which one I want the most but 
maybe a ABH, I think, because it feels... It sounds like something I want, but I don't like the packaging on this. I The foundation, the big lettering... I'm not a fan of that. Another eyeshadow palette that I want. I This I would have bought if I wasn't on a low buy. I like it, but I don't like it that much, and that is the Moon Spell by Lunar Beauty. Mostly I want it because of the packaging. I love the packaging. It is, it looks amazing. The colors though, I am not like, if it would have been more darker colors, I would have bought it, but it feels, I want something more. That was like my first reaction when I saw the inside. When they first showed the outside, I was like, I'm going to buy it. And then they showed the inside and I was like, mm. I wanted something more dark and I wanted the black in this one. And maybe not as many brown and neutral shades, but I really like it. And if it wasn't for my low buy, I would have bought it because... I would love to have it like on display. Yeah. <laughs> the packaging is super cool. Then I actually have two highlighters. The one that I also have to swatch at Sephora and it's the Fenty Diamond 2, Diamond Balm 2. That looks so good and I really want to try something from Fenty. I've tried the lipstick but I want to try something more and I don't know if it was Teresa's Dead or Lacey from Spooky Lips and Fat Hips that showed a swatch on this and I was like I need that in my life. So I am going to swatch it next time I'm at Sephora and maybe I will buy it. I don't know but I usually don't like this pink highlighters but this one looked so good. So I really want it. And the other highlighter that is coming back. And <laughs> me and this highlighter, we have gone back and forth. It is the Amrisa highlighter from Anastasia Beverly Hills. The first time it came, I was like, nope, nothing for me. I swatched it in store and I was like, no, it's nothing for me. And then it was gone and I was hit with FOMO in my face and was like, fudge, I should have bought it. And then it came back and then I was like, should I buy it now? It is pretty expensive. So I swatched it in store again and then Paulina started to talk about the Pixie highlighter and I was like, I can't buy both of them. So I asked her which she liked the most and she sent me swatches and I decided to buy the Pixie one and I was fine with that decision. But now when the rumors is that Amris is back, I'm like, should I buy it this time? It feels like it can be a little bit too dark on me, but I don't think it will be. But you know, a product that you you can't like get it out of your head. That is Amrisi for me, but I don't think I will buy it. But I still want it. Okay, and the last thing. This is... I'm going to buy it as soon as it comes back in stock. And maybe I, it's against my low buy rule, rules a little bit. The Safaya Nygaard... I, with her last name. A Nygaard. Sophia Nygaard, her and Color Pops lipsticks. I want this so so bad. Love the packaging. Love like the box with the bat. Love the tubes with the bat. Love the lipsticks with the bat. And I love love the colors. I need this, this in my life and I know it is a red lipstick in there but like right now I don't care about my low by row rules. Why do I have such a hard time with that? I don't care. I'm going to buy it as soon as it gets back in stock because I want it. Period. I want it so bad. And I didn't sew it. You know, like this... I hate Instagram with the algorithm. 
I don't like so many pictures from Colourpop, so I usually don't get like their posts updated. So when I saw the post with these, it was already sold out. But I'm going to buy it because I need it in my life. So yeah, that was 10 things that I really want to buy or 10 things that I think I would have bought if it wasn't for my low buy. I will, as I said, buy some of these things, just not right now. Maybe in the future, maybe not, we will see. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you want me to do more, I kind of miss doing will I buy it videos, but it feels a little bit strange to do them when I'm on a low buy. I like though to talk about makeup releases and makeup that I want and makeup that I don't want. So if you want something in that theme, please let me know. So yeah, that was all for this video. I really hope you liked it. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!